This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another tour review and today... Magic Square. I don't do a lot of uh, third party reviews because I don't collect a lot of third party stuff. But I decided to pick this one, this red cannon, which is Sideswipe, but it's the metallic colors. And the reason I picked it up is that uh, I have pre-ordered from Mech Fan Stores a Legend Sunstreaker. And I wanted to have something to go along with it on my Lambro shelf. So, and that's the shelf right there. So I want to, you know, I wanted to have, uh, and I don't have uh, Magic Square, uh, I, you know, th this series. Um, Actually, I think this... Oh, no, I do have... I think it's Magic Square. See, I don't collect those enough, but I think my uh, Delta Magnus was from Magic Square. I'll try to confirm that and put it uh, in, you know, with text here somewhere. Or, But, uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. But this is a, uh, a very good figure. Uh, the legs are hard to pin. But, you know, when you transform it into a car, I, I had a couple uh, issues with that, but... Um, you know, you manage and it's fine. So, as usual, I won't be doing transformation on screen because this one's a little painful. But, uh, I recommend this guy. It's, uh, last I checked, it's still on sale on magicsquare.com. So, you might want to pick that up. But, before you do so, make sure you stop by my voice acting playlist and uh, check out some of the voice actor videos there. Uh, it's quite interesting and something I'm very proud of. And also check out my sponsor, DJC Collectibles, a fantastic online store. Uh, and at the end of the video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformer. And now, let's roll the intro. Now, taking a look at MSB07A Red Cannon, which is their metallic version of Sideswipe. Uh, looks really good. The paint on this guy is, you know, fairly decent. Maybe it doesn't come across too much on camera, but it is a shinier feel, so it looks more uh, plasticky. I have to say, though, I know this is one of their earlier models. Uh, that was confirmed to me uh, by Deluxe Baldwin. Uh, during my anniversary stream and um, it's there's a couple of things that are slightly annoying first he's kind of loose honestly and there's you know this well this side here unpegs super easily so I, I have a you know hard time standing him properly but he looks really good uh, the box itself you know small box uh, for legend scale it's pretty good and then a nice uh, G1S uh, pattern in the back and then you have the stats line here and of course you have uh, Aaron from that awful episode so I think that's cool that they're promoting this character because he'd be forgotten by now and that's pretty much it so very small box and the warning stuff don't choke don't choke you know you're not three years old so you shouldn't die of this you have a card and you know what compared to the kingdom cards wow very hard plastic really nice it's basically the box covered and you know, a different way to display the stats and then a faded out or shadowed version of the alt mode. It looks really good. Uh, yeah, I like those cards way better than uh, Kingdom. The instructions are actually fairly decent. I had a hard time with the legs. I still do. I'm always afraid I'm going to break it. Uh, this this part here, number 13, where you have to pick this. Oh, man, it's... it's. I, I'm always afraid I'm going to snap him in half, so... So far so good though, I haven't had uh, any real issues. Uh, the accessories, you have the gun here and the shoulder cannon. Shoulder cannon is always, you know, it's just a little peg here to clip into that little hole right here. So it's worrisome sometimes that it's going to break. And I would prefer if he could go on the other side uh, because that's how Sideswipe to me, uh, that's where he holds his cannon. But it uh, it can't. I mean, you could put it backwards if you want to, but that that just looks silly. Uh, so, but it's a really nice uh, silver cannon rather than the uh, traditional cartoon white. So, looks good. And like I said, the gun the gun is a fair representation. 
of sideswipe gun so even to the little play button here that triangle so looks good and then the mold himself he looks the part he looks really good i like the uh, the feel of him uh you know nice blue eyes metallic blue uh with the you know black paint for the head sculpt you do see a little bit of robot junk and then it's ball joint at the uh, elbow um it's it's very well engineered i know that they like i have their um, yeah, and it, it is uh, Magic Square that I have for my transport, my Delta Magnus, and I love that mold. But this one here uh, from uh, Magic Square, it's a good transformation. It's you know it's the side swipe, so it's you know still classic. Uh, it's not that complicated. Even different company don't have that much of a different uh, feel to it because you still have to have you know the hood of the car in front and stuff like that. So, but it's uh, it's a good. Uh, no, I really like it. And now I just realized I have a little paint smudge here, so somebody must have sneezed while painting. Happens, you know. Stay healthy. All right, articulation. You do have the Ferris wheel. Oh, it's tight. It's a tight Ferris wheel. Looks good. Uh, you have the uh, a double. Uh, so there's a. It doesn't rotate under the shoulder, but there is a band at the shoulder. And there's a bend at the elbow so you can get those nice pose you know uh, the hand rotates there's no extra hands that came with this kit so I was I don't know I was kind of expecting that but I'm happy with these they hold the weapon fine you have the merry-go-round no problem you have a skirt underneath so that's for transformation you cannot, to my disappointment, do the Johnny Cage. But you do have a rotation under the, well, in the middle of the thigh. You have a nice knee bend. And then you have, this is fiddly. You have a toe up and down. And then you have a rocker like this. It's good. Uh, what else you got? That's pretty much it. So, and see, this is always on peg. So maybe I'll, I'm going to get be lucky and just put some Kiki and it's going to fix everything. So, Or maybe I'm mistransforming him and I'm forgetting a clip somewhere, but I don't think so. Well, there you go. All right, let's do some size comparison. Well, I'm going to re-equip him and do some size comparison. My rocket pack? Now! Uh, yeah, right. So here's Magic Square Red Cannon with G1 Sideswipe. That's a KO that I got from Apple Express. Uh, you see that uh, little triangle I was talking about for the gun? The matches. They looked the part. Yeah, I love this figure. It's really cool. And uh, But, uh, you know, legend scale, it's shorter than G1. And Masterpiece Sideswipe. Huge difference. Love this mold. It, it feels more like a KO than the uh, Sunstreaker one, but... It looks really good. Massive cannon. And uh, yeah, this one, I don't know why am I displaying backwards. You should be on the other side, but whatever. So there you go. And now let's take a look at the out mode. Don't worry, nobody will notice. Just make left turns. <laughs> and I'm back from transformation. And I hope you guys don't hear any background noise. I like, my kid is sick, so he's upstairs and sometimes it makes some noise and then I have the laundry machine running and it's just I hope the background music covers all of this but back to the figure it looks amazing I love the look of it I mean sure you know tiny peg for the wheels it's really really small you see a couple gap here and you know a couple lines but it's a fantastic alt mode I love the spoiler and I, I now realize why people say oh it's missing from kingdom it's missing from king yeah it absolutely is missing from Kingdom. But I love this one. Uh, see here, you have the black, uh, you know, well, decals or paint, uh, which basically is the arm, because unlike most uh, Sideswipe uh, transformation, the arms don't go on the side, they go underneath. So that's, you know, it, a nice little uh, touch to add that. Nice little molded details. The windows are amazing, reminds me of the Toy Hanks decals. I got for uh, Kingdom Sideswipe, I'll show in a minute, looks good, back end cleans up really nice, maybe it's not even, but that could be me because it's a clip, 
The hardest part is getting those two pegs here inside the holes. It's such a pain, like really unpleasant. I'm always afraid I'm going to break something, so, but it's, it's, it's worth it. This is a fantastic alt mode. And the spoiler, you know, it can move a little bit. No, it can't. You have to move it for transformation, but yeah, after that, it's pretty much fixed there because of the uh, the side piece. Love those windows. That that light, also nice paint. You know, could use some uh, some decals, I guess, some, some you know to break anything. I don't think uh, I don't know if Toy Hacks will do stuff for Magic Square. Well, I'll give it a shot. Maybe they they do. I know they do some legends, so it might be worth it. All right, so let's do some size comparison with. G1 Sideswipe, and it's a uh, very different uh, style. I mean, this one, it's a KO, so I'm having a little problem with lining up the window, so sorry about that, but it doesn't really n roll nice. This one rolls real nice, so yeah. But it's, you know, it's reminiscent. Uh, this is the uh, metal with uh, the more... No, I, I can't say toy uh, cartoon accurate because he never had windows like that, but, you know, it, it, it looks... Ah, oh, man, it looks amazing. I love it. And Kingdom Sideswipe, because I was too lazy to transform the MP12+. Plus. But uh, looks good. I mean, you can see what I meant by the similarities with the windows. It's different shade. One's gray, one's blue, but it looks really good on both. I love the, uh, the, the, the spoiler on the Magic Square one. And, and now I do realize it's missing from here. So might have to check if Firetux have some, has something for that or another 3d uh site so we'll see but uh yeah it looks good and um yeah i'm gonna check if i can get some decals like the lambor uh, lamborghini uh, logo on top would be nice stuff like that so but uh looks really good all right so let me uh put him back in uh, the uh robot mode and uh, we'll do the final thought and maybe for my final thoughts, I'm having too many Lambros uh, now, but uh, I'm not gonna stop. I love these guys. So you have the Masterpiece version, uh, the Classics uh, uh, Universe version, G1 KOs, uh, Earth Rising Kingdom. You have the Legend Scale, and then you have the Jada Toys, uh, Nato figures. So I'm waiting for the Mech Fans Toys, uh, Sunstreaker, uh, which should come in the first quarter of 2023 from last uh, I heard and also I'm waiting for the Iron Factory uh, Samurai series they announced uh, that they were going to do a side swipe and sun streaker so I really want to get those so there you go that's my Lambro shelf hope you like it and I hope you like this video if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment I love reading those keep coming back I have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care